So I'm going to try not to talk too fast, but basically I wanted to make a video about koi teeth. Yes, koi, K-O-I, just like the carp. Um, they have teeth. They're not in the front of the mouth, so you're not going to get bit when you're hand feeding them. They're actually in the back of the fish's throat, back by the gill area, or just beyond the gills. Um, when I, I find these teeth in my leaf basket on my filtration system, I collect them. I should have started collecting them a long time ago. But anyway, I was getting ready to put up the latest teeth that I found, and I found um, the jaw structure from a fish that I um, did a post-mortem on back in 2015 because I wanted to see why she died because she was 27 inches long, why she died. And um, then I was like, I'm just going to look at these so-called teeth and where they are. So anyway, the fish ended up being egg bound, but here is the jaw um, that was taken out of that fish. Um, you can see that it, it basically looks like the jaw of most animals. Um, there's the, the jaw itself. And you can kind of see in here how this is curved. It's curved just like the gill area um, in this fish was. So you have this on the bottom, just like your typical bottom jaw on other animals. And then you had this little item on the top. So it's a little triangle bone segment that was actually attached to the top of the fish's throat, almost like by the back of the head, but it was like it was attached like to the bone in the roof of the, the fish's throat. Um, so it's bony on the bottom, which is facing the teeth. I got it backwards. It's bony on the bottom, but it was like cartilage on the top. And when I pulled this out of the fish, it was almost like a thick, soapy substance. Um, the way it was attached to the top of the fish, um, the roof of the fish's throat. Um, so this was stationary. It did not move in the fish. Only this jaw section would seem to move and go up and down. So basically, the way this is structured in, or sat in the fish when I took it out, because I'm not a biologist, so I'm probably going to have half of this information wrong, but I'm just putting it out there because I couldn't find any information when I went looking myself. So basically, the bottom jaw structure, and then you have this piece in the roof of the fish's mouth or throat in this case, and basically, the fish would take in food, and then they would grind the food against this bony plate um, that's in the roof of the fish's mouth or the, the koi's mouth. So that's exactly how it's set in the throat. Fish swallows food and they crunch it as they're eating it and then they swallow it against um, after they finish macerating it with these teeth. I put this dime here as a um, size reference um, for these pieces. Uh, and here is like the collection of teeth seems to be different types of teeth just like we have in humans with canines and molars excisors etc because some of them are very smooth and round others have ridges um, and there's all different types of shapes um, I'm sure the size is, um, comes with the different size fish but anyway I thought that you guys would find this interesting since I couldn't find any information on it when I went looking on the internet um, but you can see how these teeth sat in this on the bone structure of this particular koi fish so I hope that was helpful